good day, ladies and gentlemen. James Gibbs III here. Just wanted to uh, make this video to say thank you to everyone who has wished me uh, happy birthday, all that good stuff. Um, also, want to say thank you for all the love um, that you gave me for my song or the song that I'm on uh, reaching the top 100 of the uh, billboard um, also shout out to my cousin uh, Mark Mix for putting such a wonderful song together uh, what I want to do is one of the other reasons why I made this video is because uh, you know I know that a lot of y'all probably never even heard the song so what I want to do is, and, I, and again, I appreciate the love that I'm getting from you, you know, thumbs up and the hearts and the hugs and all that good stuff um, are just showing me love because of the song. But I actually want you to hear it, you know. Um, so I know some of you guys may have heard it. And, you know, this, this, this music is some really great music. And I had a, a conversation or I overheard a conversation a couple of days ago how the music today is just not all that great and all that stuff and i'm just really sick and tired of hearing people saying that stuff now with all of the options out here to um to to find great music and listen to great music you know that's pretty much um that's pretty much absurd at this point um you know if you're only waiting for the machine to feed you what they think you should hear and you don't like it then of course, I can see you passing judgment, but if you're out here doing research and, and the music is still trash subjectively, then then I, I get your point. But there's a lot of great music out here. And I know because I'm personally responsible for some of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, among, you know, millions of other, you know, great producers and musicians and artists, so, uh, so what I want to do is I want to play one of the good songs <laughs> for you this morning. Um, and this is Riding and Chillaxing. I just want to promote this song because to me this song is it's a great, great song. And uh, just like any other song that, 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 um, that have, I have been on from Jacob, uh, Next Paradigm. You know, I'm actually just trying to switch my, my flow and how I do things now. So I just want to... Uh, play the song for you guys and just in case you haven't heard it and if you did hear it listen to it again <laughs> you know um and if you stick around you know after after the song what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain how me and my cousin came together for this song and then i will also play an extra clip or an extra song for you that i wrote that I'm thinking about putting out myself uh, next year. So I do want to know what you also think. If you never heard this song, I want to know what you think. And then I also want to know what you think of the next song I will play for you after I explain how me and my cousin came together uh, playing this particular song, all right? So I hope you enjoy. This is Riding and Chillaxin'.
<laughs> feels good to me. I can tell you that right now. Hey, sorry for interrupting uh, the show. I just wanted to just let you know that you can find Riding and Chillaxing on all streaming platforms. Uh, so please, yeah, support Riding and Chillaxing if you really, really like it. Uh, please let somebody know about this wonderful music out here. And uh, let's keep spreading this love. Um, this is a lot of hard work that goes into creating this music. And I just want you guys to enjoy what I and or we work so hard to create for you. Okay. So uh, please support Ryan and Chillaxin. And back to the original video. Uh, wow. So ain't no good music out here. I don't know what to tell you, people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that song, man, uh, just like Cutting the Rug or any other song that uh, uh, that I put out, uh, that was put out with my name on it, I think is all great music. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for listening to my song, Riding and Chillaxing. I'm riding and chillaxing. And um, that's why I want to play the song while I'm driving because it just has a great feel especially when I'm driving too. So I'm gonna give you a, a brief uh, story or give you the story uh, about how me and uh, my cousin came together with this song. Uh, my, my cousin, he presented this song to me sometime earlier uh, this year. And he was like, yo, cuz, man, I got this uh, this joint for you, man. I wanna, uh, I want you to play on. I was like, okay, you know, um, all right, cool. You know, send me send me over the track. You know, so he sends me this same exact track. Um, the guitar wasn't on it, and the keys wasn't on it. Well, not the improvised keys. And so I'm listening to this this shell, and I'm like, okay, this is not bad. You know, um, okay, cool. You know, um, so what ended up happening was. Um, I listen and I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, so where is the, um, you know, where's the melody? You know, and he was like, uh, ain't no melody. You are the melody. You know, you got, he want he wanted me to make up the melody. And I'm like, uh, uh, dude, <laughs> you didn't tell me that I actually had to make up the melody too. I'm over here expecting to, uh, you know, to hear this melody and I just put the, the real trumpet over it and send it back to him and add whatever harmonies and, and maybe even edit, you know, the melody or whatever. But no, I have to make the melody myself. So I get the song. Let's just say I got the song on a Sunday. All right. So by that Tuesday, he wanted to know if I got something. I'm like... <laughs> Dude, I need to listen to the song like I'm working, man. Like, there's a lot going on, you know. At that time, I was doing my security job, so um, and I was working overnights, so I couldn't really um, listen to the music, you know, the way I really wanted to, uh, and and actually come up and be able to focus on creating a melody that I didn't know I actually had to create in the first place. So um, I wanted to just make sure that I had a good thing going on and so I think he hit me up on that Tuesday day he'll hit me up again on that Thursday and I'm like yo cousin it's gonna take me a minute to really get this thing going so by the time I even came up with the melody by the time I was able to even sit down even focus on it it took at least a week so you know I came up with one melody and then I recorded it didn't like it and then I uh, came up with a second melody and then my cousin here hit me up again now this time he's spacing it out three and four and five days before he actually hit me up um, and I would just let him know in between that time that I'm actually working on it and because uh, I also had another project that I was putting together as well too uh, that's also on my YouTube page and it's called Grown and Sexy Vibes number one so definitely check that out go on my YouTube page and put in in the you um in the magnifying glass and search bar and put grown in sexy vibes number one james gibbs the third on there and you'll see what i'm talking about i was working on that project literally at the same time so and i'm really really focused on that one because it's a compilation cd of just grown and sexy music or music for grown and sexy people 
So, uh, so then this song just hit me, boom, like, and now my cousin, like, he's really diligent about it. So, you know, I, I didn't like the ideas, and then when I finally came up with the idea, the actual song, the actual melody that you actually hear now, it took me like four to five drafts to get that. So I'm going to say about maybe almost three weeks passed before I came up with that final melody there, but then my arrangement was a little bit different than the track itself. Uh, the the bridge part where you hear the person who's playing the keyboards, unfortunately I don't know who that person is um, playing. My cousin did tell me, but it went well over my head right now. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a melody for it, and then so what I did was I cut the track up in a way where I rearranged the song myself, and I sent him the track with that product, with the finished product, just like you just heard it, um, without the, um, without the bridge where the keyboardist took the solo, and the, um, and also that that small um, pre-chorus bridge part, um, and. And you know, he heard it, he, he got back to me about two or three days later, and he said, I didn't hear that, what happened to the bridge? I'm like, well, dude, I don't have the, uh, I don't have anything for the bridge, <laughs> you know? So, uh, so he was like, you tried to throw me an okie doke and take my bridge out. I'm like, no, I didn't actually. This is just my arrangement. Like, dude, you asked me to come up with a song. I came up with five different melodies for it, and, uh, and this is what I came up with, you know. Like, what do you want me to do? You know, uh, I'm. So uh, I said I couldn't hear a bridge, you know. So uh, I didn't. I didn't hear that interlude part. So uh, he said, "All right, I'll just ask my my boy to uh, to put some keys on it or something and whatever." So I'm like, "All right, cool, thanks." <laughs> you know, he said, "But what I want you to do is I want you to make the song the way I made the track. <laughs> Don't rearrange the track." <laughs> right, make the music like how I made the damn track. I'm like, dude, okay. I mean, I said, number one, you gave me the track the way you gave it to me, yes, but I didn't hear the song within the format of the track and what you gave me. I mean, this is you know, you told me to do me, not did me. Now, me doing me is not <laughs> that's it, you know. So, I went back in. You know, and I actually um, recorded my trumpet stuff to the track the way you now actually hear it, okay? And uh, and then I send it back, and and then you know the rest is history. Now I do want to say, as a side note on on that, on how that song came about, when I actually made that final melody, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, like I'm a huge fan of R. Kelly. R. Kelly's music, and uh, and you know he'll have this these like steppers type of you know songs, um, and you know I said well you know what I'm hearing in my brain you know just coming off the of the success of cutting the rug, um, with the success of cutting the rug I said you know what the cutting the rug had its own vibe when it you know you know when it came to you know, dancing or whatever, that's why Jake would call it cutting the rug, and I wanted to make a, a melody that embellished or, you know, um, told that particular type of story, but being that this particular track actually has uh, a more, like a step of swag to it, I say, you know what, let me make a song that kind of, you know, sounds like, you know, people can dance to it at a party, like a steppers party or, or whatever, you know, so after I, you know, you heard the melody the way it is, when, when, when I got it back to my cousin and he called it riding into lax and I was a little confused by it because, uh, I'm like, but in my brain, I wasn't thinking riding into lax and I'm thinking, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, in my brain, I had a different title for it. Like, like it could have been like, uh, day party stepping or something, you know what I mean? Like something that actually had that type of groove, you know, that type of swag, some type of dancing, you know, people getting together and just dancing with each other. Um, 
And that's the kind of title that I heard in my brain. But when he said riding and chillaxing, I'm like, uh, okay. I, I mean, it's your song, cousin. I mean, I'm just, I'm just thankful to be on it. So I just stuck with riding and chillaxing. And that's pretty much um, how that song came about. So I hope you enjoyed that story of how me and my cousin got together to create this song. And again, thank you for the love that uh, that you are that you been giving me for it making to the top 100 on the billboard uh so you know as a treat to you um for sticking around listening to this video there's another song that i made earlier this year that i do plan on putting out uh next year sometime um and for those who know me i do love to drive a lot um I love to, you know, just get in my truck or my car and just ride and just, you know, just do me, keep my head clear, and just, I just love going for drives, and uh, I recently just purchased a, a motor scooter for my, uh, for my birthday, so, uh, you know, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, further enhance my riding experience, and, uh, and I purchased me an electric motor scooter so I can ride more. But I can't ride it as much because the weather is not as warm. So, uh, but anyway, I want to get your opinion on this next song. Uh, it is called Palisades Parkway. Now, why did I name this song Palisades Parkway? Because um, I just wanted to... Um, yeah, I like the Palisades Parkway. Like, it has, a, it has a vibe, you know what I mean? Especially the further you go north on the Palisades Parkway and, and it's mostly like a two lane highway uh, from here all the way to um, wherever it's going. I don't know the, the exact ending of the Palisades, but it's always, it's going straight up upstate New York and it's a beautiful road once you get to the countryside. So I hope you enjoy this song called Palisades Parkway. I'm trying to figure out why is this thing keep jumping? <laughs> okay. All right, so this is Palisades Parkway. Let me know what you think. I like that double time. Uh, 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 Thank you. 
So that is Palisades Parkway. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that song. Um, I created that song earlier this year. Uh, actually, was it earlier this year? No, I'm gonna, I probably made that song last year sometime. Oh my goodness. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, and, you know, I made a lot of music, especially during the, um, the 2020 quarantine time. So it's, it's kind of tough for me to keep track of all of the songs I created and when I actually did it. Uh, but yeah, when I made Palisades Parkway, I was just riding up the Palisades or riding down from the Palisades uh, at some point in time. And, and this melody hit me. And I uh, just say, you know what? Um, I want to, you know, I'm going to do something with this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everything is already taken care of as far as the business. So I'm not going to present a song that, you know, the business is not taken care of. So, uh, you know, shout out to, to all my pirates out there. Um, but, you know, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And, and also let me know if you enjoyed this podcast like post uh, I would like to do more, you know, uh, talk about music and what I think about it and, and my own personal stories behind some of my favorite music. And, uh, and if you want to know or want to hear more podcasts from me, uh, like, you know, like this in this type of format, then let me know um, because I have a ton of music that I would love to present to you guys and, uh, and talk about where it comes from. Uh, my personal connection to it, whether or not it's um, it's my music or not, um, and most I mean, in most cases, I'm going to talk about my music because um, you know it's my own personal um, thing. So it's my own personal creation. So uh, I would like to pretty much talk about my music, but I can talk about others mu other music too because there is a connection that I do have with other people's music as well. So, you know, so let me know what you think about this, man. Leave, leave me some comments and, uh, and let's keep pushing this needle forward. Uh, shout out to all my Scorpios out here. You know, happy birthdays to you. And, uh, and you all have a absolutely fantabulous day. All right. I'll talk to you.